All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Once again, another $200 boat. Um, so this one definitely uh, has seen better days, uh, but for 200 bucks, you know, what do you expect? Uh, this thing actually will be pretty decent. Um, this is a 1987 Four Winds, and it's got the Merc Cruiser Alpha One, 230 V8, and looks good, but we won't know until uh, springtime here when everything thaws out and we're actually able to go through everything. Um, right now it's in a nice ice block. Uh, what happened was the uh, the drain plug must have got clogged and then the water just came in here and started freezing up. I mean, it is only 19 degrees out, so got a nice, uh, nice block going under there. Hopefully it didn't uh, push up and destroy anything on there. But for 200 bucks, you know, just the trailer alone is worth it. Uh, it will be cool to go ahead and get in to start working on the V8s here. Normally you see me with the uh, 140 uh, Merc Cruisers. So this is uh, definitely more power, and uh, also this is a bigger boat too. I'm really not sure the size of this one. I would say it's probably 20 feet plus though, definitely. Uh, definitely gonna need new stringers, flooring, fiberglassing, uh, but that's all part of the fun of this. So, yep, my wife will work her magic with the vinyl, and uh, I'll also get some new wood on there, cause that uh, kind of whoop. <laughs> so yeah this thing uh i think this thing will clean up nice and as long as we don't run any, into too many issues with the engine here i think this will be a, a a nice running boat once we get everything all set get a nice solid floor in here and uh just like on our other videos uh we'll go ahead and reupholster the whole front here clean this up this will actually be really nice uh I see something that people would just want to junk and take to the trash yard, and I see it as something I could fix up and make nice, and you know people can keep using it. But yeah, what do we got in here? Always do the inspections. Yeah, nothing in there. Ah, glove box check. Oh, old light pole switch. We got a set of old muffs. You really want the muffs where it squirts water on both sides, uh, especially with these uh, alpha ones, because you got the vents on each side to push the water through. All right, what else we got in here? Eh, not much, not as exciting as the, the other ones, but we do have keys. That is a plus. So, yeah. Yeah, and it... And it doesn't start. <laughs> Use some interesting gauges. Step on the ice block here. <laughs> Work our way up. Let's see. There we go. Open that up. And let's go with a float. Another float. Yeah, we got some stuff in there. We'll have to wait till this thaws out to check it out. But yeah, this teak will clean up really nice. As you saw in my other videos on teak restoration. We could always throw LED lights on here. I mean there's so much potential with this boat. Replace the cushions and the vinyl. Yeah. Yeah, everything. I mean, it's an older boat, 87. The old horn here. Glass is good, though. Fiberglass. The body's really good. We'll take you on the outside here in a second. But yeah, we'll definitely have to cut up the whole flooring here and get this out of here. Here's our gas tank right here. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this, just looking at this, it looks really nice. And I know the previous owner said that 
Uh, he didn't try it or do anything with it. He was actually gonna fix it up, uh, but I ended up getting another boat that was already in working condition and had seats and floor, <laughs> which is always a plus. So this is just gonna be the quick overview. And our pump there. Yeah, we'll be able to build new engine cover like we did in the other video. New seat cushions back through here. But there we go. At least it's a good look at what the inside looks like. So stay tuned for a lot more videos on this one and the others. Just be patient. I have videos that are over a year old that haven't even come out yet. Just because we get, have so many different videos. But, all right, let's get down and take a look at the outside. So the trailer uh, likes to lean to the right a little bit. We'll have to take care of that. Um, but once again, just like we did with our other trailer, you can check that video out, how we fixed that all up. Repaint, you know, busted all the rust off, repainted it. I mean, this is, seems a solid trailer. Seems like mostly surface rust on here. It's a load right. And here's the outside of the boat. But the fiberglass, everything looks really good on it. No cracks, no holes. Yep, some good coat of wax for sure would do this boat really good, make it shine up really nice. Definitely gonna need new tires. Those are dry rotted on the outside there. But everything else on here looks pretty good. Yeah, look, you can see, that's why there's so much ice in there. There's something clogging that. Take a look in here too. Exhaust bellows. Yeah, we're gonna have to replace all this stuff, but it's all part of the fun. Our cables are split. Our cable uh, bellows is split here. We'll have to replace that. Yeah. This this bellows that almost looks new up top. Uh, there she is, Merc Cruiser. And this has the big back deck here, which is pretty cool. Kids would love this. And we'll be able to clean this teacup real nice, make it look brand new again. There we go, four winds. Are you walking on the boat? Yeah, <laughs> no, not right now. Is this gonna be your boat? Or do you already have claim on one of the other boats? I want that white boat. The white one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the last time this was registered, uh, we had a 2008 sticker on there. So 15 years. So 15 years of, we know, just for the trailer. There we go. Four winds, 210 horizon. Yeah, this will clean up really nice. Everything looks really good. I mean, you can see the trailer. I mean, that, honestly, that's all surface rust there. We won't know until we really get into it, but that's what it looks like. All right, so there's a quick preview of future projects to come out. Uh, the 210 Horizon by uh, Four Winds. And uh, yeah, this will be fun. All right, guys, so stay tuned for more boat videos and lots of other videos. Make sure to check them all out. And as usual, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.
You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.